this is Hartland Moor. Heathland is all man-made habitat, except for that close to the coast. How you manage Heathland is to clear the pine, the scrub, control burning and grazing. This caters for a variety an array of species and a mosaic in age groups in the heather. This is essential to cater for more species. Heathland management also requires backup to remove sapling removal and in some cases rhododendron encroachment which is an absolute disaster. It was introduced for pheasant cover and for decoration. On here is not a problem. The main problem is gorse pine and creating that different age groups in heather. This is a, an amazing site Hartland Moor which it's heathland management at its best. On here they do pine clearance, sapling pulling, control burning and grazing. These are all essential on heath. It was created several thousand years ago by clearing and grazing animals which eventually poached the land and reduced the pH which is very acidic now and this is the only way you can keep it is by continual management and keeping up to it. As I say here on Hartland Moor is the Primo Reserve in Dorset. You won't get many better than this the beautiful colours here created by all the different grasses and sedges and heathers and pine and of course the natural sunlight. This is Hartland Moor on the northern end. In front of me you can see recently cleared pine which is all the seeds are just lying dormant under pine when it's planted on Heathland. This pine woodland should never been planted here. It's on prime heathland, all this here, if you see underneath, is totally devoid of life. The only thing that lives in here is the odd pigeon and the odd woodpecker, which I love. But when you have the open heather, as you can see here, the humid, wet heath and bog is the way to create heathland. This is just a stunning sight, an amazing vista and it's here for all to keep forever. Created by Natural England, uh, the RSPB do it, National Trust and the Herpetological Trust people do it and long may it, it rain you know because without this open heather we wouldn't have all the native reptiles, all the woodland birds and the heathland birds and all the dragonflies which are in abundance here in the summer. Today it's, all, it's October and it's a beautiful warm day and I just thought I'd show you this. Heartland Moor and in the distance there Corf Castle, the ancient monument with Northern Steam Train just to the left running around the Purbet Ridge overlooking Creech Barrow the Great Knoll and to the right of the Great Knoll is an ancient tumulus. This side is owned by Natural England, the other side of the Knoll is owned by the National Trust who don't manage this. It's left for Natural England to manage for wildlife and that's why it looks so good. Heartland Moor National Nature Reserve.